Good afternoon, YouTube family. So today is Monday, May 11th, and we are headed out once again. Today we're heading to Lake Travis, which sits about 45 minutes west of the city of Austin. It's this big, gorgeous lake um, with tons of waterfront property. There's some restaurants out there. There's some parks and beach type areas out there as well. Um, but we thought it was a perfect spot to go fly the new drone. Welcome to the unboxing. So Amazon has just delivered us a package and we know what it is and we're very excited about it. It is a new toy, but it's actually being added to our filming arsenal. So let's get to it. So this is something that we already have one of these, but we upgraded a little bit. And I say it's a toy because let's be serious. We're going to be playing with it a lot, but it will be used for filming purposes. Therefore, I was able to justify it and allow Ryan to let me buy it. Let's get these out of here. All right, guys. The DJI Mavic Mini, it's here. I had to wait a week for it. I have really terrible patience. Like, I like Amazon Prime because stuff gets here in about two days, but this one I had to wait a week for. And I really like instant gratification, so if I'm able just to go out and buy it, I do. But we decided to go with Amazon because they had a really good deal on the DJI Fly More package. So this is more than just the drone. So what this comes with is the drone, the controller, and the Fly More package offers the carrying case as well as three batteries a battery charging bank. So the Flymore package is $100 more than just the drone itself, but it made a lot of sense to do that because each individual battery by DJI is about $50. So for $100, I not only got two extra batteries, but I got the carrying case that comes with it. I got the propeller guards that come with it if you wanna do any indoor flying or flying around trees. So the reason why we opted to go with the DJI Mavic Mini, although it doesn't have as much stamina and high winds, it's compact and since our objective is to be able to film when we travel, this, I mean, is gonna fit perfectly in a suitcase. So it's not gonna take up too much room, it's not gonna be too conspicuous. This is perfect. This is my first time seeing it as well. Ta-da, it's so tiny but it's such a powerful unit for the size that it is. All right, so there it is. So I do, on any purchase that I ever make, I do a ton of research. And while there are more powerful drones out there by DJI, for what we want to do with it, this made the most sense for the money. Um, yes, it is smaller, yes, it's lighter, but yes, it's a lot more cost effective. Uh, and because we are gonna be doing so much traveling, this just made a lot more sense. But we thought it was a perfect spot to go fly the new drone and get some, see what kind of drone footage we can get. Yes, we were hoping to go to a restaurant that's on yeah. the, the cliff side there. It's called the Oasis. And we don't think they're actually open yet. Yeah, so we tried to do some research on their Facebook page and we tried to give them a call today and there wasn't really a clear answer, so we're not sure if they're open yet or not. I'm gonna lean and say they're probably not open today. Uh, but like he said, they have this really nice outdoor area. It's like seven levels built into the cliffs and it overlooks the lake, overlooks all of the boats. It's stunning. But if we can't experience that today, that's fine. We can always go back. So it might be a picnic kind of a day. Yes, we are gonna improvise and just go with the flow. Yeah. It's really just gonna be a fun-filled day of flying the drone and just looking at the sights and driving around Lake Travis. And as you know already by watching our vlogs, we love to do not road trips, but we like to go on drives just to get us out of the house. And driving all the way around the lake does take a while, but it is a beautiful drive, a lot of hills. Um, so I'm excited just yeah, to it's something get out. We haven't done it in a while, so yeah. it'll be fun to go do it during the daytime. Yes, but 
So excited to get that drone up in the air, see how it flies, see what kind of video it can take. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'll put in some of those clips here. guys that's gonna do it for this vlog it was short and sweet but just kind of gives you an idea of what we have to do here in Austin I mean Lake Travis is so beautiful it is now um, there are quite a few parks that line the street that follows the river those are still closed we have a lot of our main city parks open but um, those kind of out there they're still closed so we would have been able to do a lot more in terms of like water sports or like picnic areas, but unfortunately those are not open yet, but they will be soon. This kind of just gives you an idea of what we've been doing during our staying at home and not flying or not doing any trips. Okay. So, but hopefully we can resume all of that normalcy here shortly. And while he's speaking on that, I have been keeping up daily with TSA numbers and our actual flight loads and on the plus side passenger counts are going up day over day in the past three weeks we have more than doubled nationwide passenger counts on one hand that's great for the aviation industry on the other hand I still want to make sure people are taking the necessary precautions and going about it cautiously because the last thing I want is for someone to be susceptible or you know have the potential to harm others so that's kind of an internal struggle that both Ryan and I have been dealing with is we love seeing that people are getting out there and traveling because our planes have never 
ever been cleaner than they are now and it is very safe to travel I feel but on the other hand I don't want people out there not taking the necessary precautions and I'm rambling but it's a daily struggle that we have but it is a light at the end of the tunnel that the aviation industry will pull through this and we're gonna be fine that's a good little tidbit of information yeah and it'll definitely help all the airlines and the travel industry as a whole let's you know get back to a little bit of normalcy and still be cautious yeah but that's going to do it for this vlog. If you are new here, thank you so much for watching. While you're here, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And ring the bell. Turn on those notifications so you can be notified every time we put out a new video. If you're already a subscriber, we thank you so much for sticking around. We are growing slowly but surely. And we thank you guys because that's all y'all. Yes, thank you for all the subscribes, the likes, all that. The viewing of our videos. That all helps us out. And, um... Uh, until next time. Until next time.